Welcome back to Full Circle with Mukali and let us know where you're watching us from. Be part of the conversation. Our SMS line is triple one triple four triple one. It's just gonna cost you a shilling on social media switch TV K E. That is Instagram, Switch TV Kenya on Facebook. Now I feel like today's conversations are intertwined and it's it's beautiful how they are playing out because this next one is about career choices. And when you feel stuck, you don't know where to go or what to decide, then Please send in those questions right now because we'll have an expert in studio who will help you understand or make the right decision. It's time for HR Circle. And I, I'll just take you back maybe to high school when you're told, Andika, unataka kuenda kusomea nini university. So you have to check, check things. You're not even sure. You're so confused. And maybe sometimes we lose it at that point and some lose it later. But talking about career choices and how to make that conversation easier and how to make that decision easier is Dr. Susan. Welcome, Sana, to the show. Thank you, Mikali. Kindly introduce yourself with proper titles. Uh, and this is your camera, Dr. Okay. Thank you so much. My name is Dr. Susan Laimaru. Uh, I have... Uh, PhD in leadership and governance. Mm -hmm. My master's is in uh, education and administration. Okay. My first degree is in education. So I'm a career teacher yes. and educationist. Uh -huh. uh, currently, I'm the principal of Kenya Methodist University, Nairobi campus, uh -huh. leading the young ones in career choices. You are the perfect person for this conversation, Dr. Tari. Mm. You are. Yeah. And like I said, when we are in high school, see, we are told to yes. jaza jaza. Jaza, say what you have. <laughs> in fact, they start at uh, form two. Form yes. two, choose, choose the your subject. And those subjects will lead to what career you get. Mm. Yes. Would you believe I chose agriculture <laughs> over business? <laughs> so I, I, do, I know I can believe that because yeah. immediately after my form six, yes. I wanted to do anthropology in I the love. university okay not that i knew what it was uh -huh. but i loved the big name anthropology <laughs> so that's what i wanted to do but immediately after that i uh -huh. took my elder brother uh -huh. and then that is when my dad said women should be teachers ah that's where i directed myself okay but for today you know we have idea we can choose careers Absolutely. as yeah from form to from even primary school mm. Mm. so what would be the first thing you would tell somebody who's super undecided they don't know where or what direction to take in terms of choosing career where does it begin it is <coughs> it begins by assessing yourself okay first of all know what you are interested in. what do you like to do mm. and uh, when you're young Take 20 years. If, for example, you are 15, yes. 20 years from now, what would I like to be? Mm. If you are 20, five years from now, what, where, what job would I like to, to take? Mm -hmm. That is, you assess yourself. You know your interests, your skills, yes. your intellect also, mm. because you cannot say you want to be, to be a doctor, whereas you can't pass chemistry or physics. Yes. So assess yourself. After assessing yourself, then you go to the next step. Mm -hmm. You look at the jobs or the you, you, you career choices. You tick from number one up to 20. What, wh which one would I want to, to be? Yes. By now, you, le you, are, t you are looking at your interest first. Eh? Mm. What, uh, uh, and uh, this reminds me, there's somebody who wanted to be a nurse. Yes. Very badly a nurse. Yeah. Going to the theater almost vomited <sighs> when she looked at the people. So it means that she had not assessed herself. Yes. So after that, you go to the, the second level, look at all the career choices that you have. Pick them, start ticking from number one to two, three, four. Then look at your education level or okay. your skills. Mm -hmm. For example, I'm looking at the current, the form fours who have just finished school. Yes. If you got a D plus, then it means you cannot be a doctor. Mm. Because there are, there are some courses in the university which are regulated, especially to be a doctor, law, um, some of those courses, medical labs, yeah. they are all regulated. Yes. Therefore, these regulated courses, you have to get the minimum qualification in Form 4. 
That does not mean if you got a D, then there ends your education. No. It doesn't. Mm -mm. Because now we have the TVET programs mm. uh, where you can um, do education acceleration. You got a D plus, but you can do a certificate. You can, after certificate, a diploma, then a degree, you can go even to PhD. Yes. So getting that D does not mean you have added your career choices. That is However, yes. it has ended the careers which are restricted by some governing bodies. So that when you look at educa your education level, also look at uh, this career choice that I'm going to, to take. Mm. What job will it give me? Mm. Are those jobs opportunities in the country today? Okay. So you're not taking a job which you are a career choice yes. and there is no jobs in that field. Yes. So actually look at it. Currently, what is that in the market? Then and align your education and your goals to that. Absolutely. And when we are saying align your goals to that, eh, mm -hmm. of course, like they are from force now, we have had the year at home. Yes. What short term courses can you take now? Can you take now mm -hmm. when you are at home so that you can get to? that job you really want to do mm. and there are so many short courses mm. then look at your long-term goals mm -hmm. after that how do i align myself to this career okay and always what i tell these young ones is that eh, if you don't get a do you have a b plan b yes. you may go looking that you want um like i listened there is this girl who wants to do finance account yes. and so desperately oh, she you can't do you listen to yes, that yes and yeah. then but the mathematics is a problem yes can you improve your mathematics or turn to something else close to that yes so that you know in life also when you set your goals too high mm. and you don't achieve that you get frustrated mm. so get, go like a baby step by step step by step don't just jump and then you don't get that which and don't be frustrated don't be frustrated there's always another option to yes. that so those Choose. are the steps that i should take yes i think you say some very important things dr mm. susan because mm. and sometimes our parents also mm. have a very big role to play yes and things have changed now mm. that the, we are more open to artistry Mm. that maybe I had a D, yes. but I'm very good at music. I'm very good yes. at mm. public speaking. Mm -hmm. Then there's something else that I can do. Mm. And our universities have opened up to such. Yes. The universities, and then the starting with the parents, eh? mm. I would actually tell parents, don't give your child what to do. Don't tell them. Mm. I've seen as somebody coming in the university and sh he read very well. Yes. Graduation day, he told me, Dr. Susan, this certificate is for my mom. I want to come back to do journalism. What? Yes, I've done this for mommy. Then mine is journalism. Let me come to do. So parents, let's not push our children to take that career choice mm. that they don't um, want. And then you have told me there are some of us who are looking. I want my child to be a lawyer, mm. a doctor, mm. not a musician. No. Not somebody cameraman like this. You, mm -mm. you are looking at it with the rasters. You don't like it. Yes. Please, let's not also push our children. And, and I would say this. Eh? I'm proud to say this. My firstborn son yeah. wanted to be a musician. Uh -huh. And I really encouraged him. I would go to Nairobi West with him in a studio and I'm listening to him singing a song, Mama, Mama. Is she? There was a song to do with the mother. Eh? Yes. I encouraged him until when he realized I'm really encouraging him. Yeah. He decided, well, now let me choose journalism. Something else. Something, I something else. Something I else. Can and something. Journalism is close. It's close. Mm. So it means that um, there is no job or there is no career Yes. Leading to a job, which is a bad job. That's it true. depends on how you take that job yourself. Absolutely. And how you plan yourself when you get that job. Mm. So it depends actually when somebody has gone up to form four, mm -hmm. the ball is in your court. That's true. Decide your own career, mm -hmm. mentor yourself, and get that which that we, what you want to get. Okay. Mm. I have a quick question for you here. Mm -hmm. I see our SMS line is lit mm. uh, up. Mm. Hi, Mikali. I'm Nyamoita from Kisi. Mm. My dream of being a lawyer just vanished when I got a plain C. I can't go back to school because I'm already a repeater. Help me, please, about my next career move. Now, that she wants to be a, a lawyer. Yes. To be a lawyer, you must have over C plus yes you must uh, pass in English you must pass in history and mm. some subject it is um 
it is what we say a guided career where it has to go through the Kenya law so that they pass the grades. Okay. So your grades must really align with the career. So I can tell this, this young one, if you really want to be a lawyer, then you can take a diploma mm -hmm. course in law. Mm -hmm. However, even if you take that diploma course and pass with it, eh, yes. you just be people now serving clerks, mm -hmm. court clerks and all that. You will not do a degree in law. Yes. If you, she really wants to do a degree in law, yeah. you either have to repeat mm -hmm. or take an alternative course. Okay. Mm. So there's an option for them. There is an option for mm. them. Yes, you mm. can be a, do diploma yes. and then you can work in court of laws. Okay. Yes. And you know, one thing I really love about, you mentioned Kemu yes. and it's how... Uh, artists are encouraged. Your drama club is very uh, you know vibrant. It, eh? I do. <laughs> do you know I'm the patron? <laughs> you are. I am the patron. Oh my of goodness! Drama club. Yes. Uh, very you vibrant. Have seen, yes. I have seen them in competitions. I've seen their awards. We are they were very the best private university in drama. Yes. Kemu Nairobi campus. And was that uh, you being the patron? What does that mean for you and for all the kids that you see participating in class and also being very, very uh, brilliant on stage? Uh, especially I've realized the kids who come for drama, mm -hmm. they are also very brilliant in class That's and they true. are open. They are ready to articulate their ideas and to talk about their feelings. Yes. You realize drama is like, just like uh, somewhere where you remove your emotions. Mm. You talk about it. We yes. go on stage, we cry with those kids. Eh? Like last, the last, my last play was about a girl who was misused by a sponsor yeah. and after that cured by the sponsor. Mm. You know, that's relating to the university. Yes. We are also teaching these people that sponsors are there, but don't be yes. misused by them. Absolutely. Yes. See, I know about Muna Chafua Pale drama festivals, Kabisa. Yes. Yes. Good yes. morning, Mikali and Dr. Susan. Very interesting discussion. Just to add, I think the young ones need to be told of other careers because while growing up we knew of doctors mm. we knew of lawyers mm. we knew of pilots this was pressure enough yet performance ukiangalia haifiki mm. other careers like animator computer coder mm. you know smart farmer very many careers yes. are looked down upon and it makes people look down upon themselves mm. many are not doing what they graduated in if you ask me that's true Many people are not doing, and mostly these young ones, when what they have graduated from, they even end up being business, yeah. bloggers, or mm. other kind of jobs. So we need to teach the young career, career guidance. Mm -hmm. And for instance, in Kemu, we are planning next week, we'll put it, we'll even tell you to advertise it for us. Yes. We are planning a career day okay. where we'll get various departments. Because in a university, we have a whole various department and courses, mm. almost like 50 in Nairobi campus and other campuses 160 courses so we need to bring those ones to the the, the young ones also they mm -hmm. can go in the website yes. of various universities Kemu Mount Kenya name all the universities in Kenya they have their website yes. and they have written their programs and then they can even learn from those those websites okay mm. i'm going to read one final sms mm. before i let you go dr mm. hi guys i'm beth from nakuru and i'm just feeling awesome because of the doc's advice actually i was slowly giving up but now i have realized getting a d plus is not the end of the of life for me be blessed you're mm. changing, mm. You're, you're changing, mm. you're changing lives <laughs> as mm. you go. Mm. Uh, we're going to take a very short commercial break. We will be right back. Don't go too far. This is Full mm. Circle mm. with Mikali. Mm. Welcome back to Full Circle with Mikali. We are talking matters, career and also reigniting hope that somehow in Mepotea and on the break uh, we were talking with Dr. here saying how when you get a D sometimes you feel that that's the end of the world but that mm. D is very very important and you were saying something very important. <laughs> okay Mwikali I was saying that uh, at times when we get our children or the children get D, D minus, mm. D plus they feel very demoralized. That's they true. think that's the end of life. Mm. Some girls think the only thing they can be is mothers, give birth and get married and be housewives. Yeah. Boys feel that uh, they now have to go and push because Koten is in town, but that's not the, the real thing. Mm. You can grow that D of yours mm -hmm. to a degree, a PhD. Okay. In fact, most of the times, and uh, 
I say this with the experience. Yes. I've seen most of the people who get A, they gear themselves up to getting employment, mm. white collar employment, a job. This guy who got to see has started thinking of entrepreneurship, yes. building a hospital, building a supermarket. This A material will come and work in this C's hospital. That's nature. Ah. That is, you know, God can't give you everything. Every, that's true. If you are a C person, then you think, next, can I also be an employer? Yes. Can I employ the A's and the B's? Mm. And that is how it works. Mostly, let me tell you, if you look at the businesses we have within Nairobi, yes. they are not made from the A materials. Mm -mm. I'm not telling the children don't get an A. Mm. Oh, what I'm saying is that be open. That did develop it. Get to where, the heights of where you want to get. Absolutely. If it is money that you want to get, yes. then de develop your career to get that. If it's job, some other things you want to benefit from mm. that job. So you have to really be, your attitude changes is, everything. Changes everything. Absolutely. And I keep on saying that the young ones, attitude is like a car. Having wrong attitude is like a car without wheels. Mm. It will not go anywhere. Nowhere. Right attitude will drive you to the heights of where we want to go. Absolutely. And when you get a challenge, navigate through that challenge. Yes. Go to the next step. If there is another obstacle, navigate. Life is not a smooth line. Mm -mm. We have to get obstacles. That D may be telling you, go further than that. Absolutely. And now the, the beauty of education, especially the university level, if you get a D, then you do a NEC exam. Mm -hmm. And you get a certificate and a diploma, mm -hmm. NEC exams. Mm -hmm. Then thus, if you, get, you come to the university, you get uh, what to do, credit transfers. Mm. And therefore, you, you will be almost karibu than the people you, you are with in a, in a primary school or secondary yes. school. Yeah. So don't sit with that. In fact, May intake is, is, is happening in other universities. Go, start your certificate. Go to Tivet colleges mm -hmm. and start growing. Absolutely. That's yes. very encouraging. Yes. And actually, if somebody got a D, this is May. Yes. May, June, July. By the end of this year, you go, you have gotten a certificate. Yes. By next year, you'll be in diploma. Three, nine months, you drew with the diploma. And then you get to university. That's it. Yes, it's, yes. Be encouraged. Yeah. Be encouraged. Mm. Um, hi, Mwali Wendaktari. I'm, I'm in uni doing statistics. But it's been almost three years since I joined and I'm still in first year. I just don't have the zeal to do the much reading that is required for a math student. I'm passionate about fashion and style, but I wouldn't tell my parents that. It will be very disappointing. I have wasted their resources trying to do this course, but I am stuck. What do I do? I'm so stressed about the pressure that comes with their expectations. Okay, thank you for that question. And mostly it is asked by many students. Yeah. Eh? You are in the university, you are doing the wrong course, you end up being a professional mm. student. You know, professional <laughs> student. She is supposed to be in that year, but she is still in yeah, first, first year. year. So it means like you are a career student. Your oh. career is being a student. Yeah. And that is taking a wrong move. If, for example, you feel that that is where you are, that your heart is not there, mm -hmm. talk to your parent, mm -hmm. talk to a mentor. In universities, we have dean of students. They are counselors in the university. Go to the dean of students. Mm. You are dean of student. Go to the counselor. Talk to them and tell them this is where I am and I'm stuck. Yes. This counselor can also call the, the mm -hmm. parent. And then the parent will come and they talk with the, 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 the child. You talk, like, uh, by the way, before I became a principal, I was the dean of students. Okay. And I saw those cases. I would deal with them myself. I call the parent. And remember the time I told you, there's somebody who did a course, completed and came and told you, can you give my mom this degree? Yeah. I'm going back to university and she's going to pay for my course. That is her degree. So this person is doing that course for the parent. Yeah. Kindly don't do for your parents. Don't. Your parent will not be with you 20 or 30 years. We are heading somewhere else, you know, mm. the next step. Or mm. even dying, isn't it? Mm. If, if, uh, if age has to go with the death. Mm. So do that career for yourself. Not Absolutely. For, not for your parents. And I like what you said about talking to the dean of students yes. or whoever it is that you can talk. Mm. If it's a conversation that you can't have yes. with your parent, mm -hmm. then task it. 
to maybe the dean or a counselor, or counselor. to do it on your behalf. Maybe mm. they will understand. I've seen some students who mm. go to school mm. and they change their courses. Yes, they do. Without telling their parents because they know what mm. reprimanding they mm. will get for mm. that. Mm. And then later, mm. the, the parents will deal with I did what I wanted to do mm. and I will make you proud, mm. mom. I'll make you proud, mm. dad. But mm. I had to choose me. Yes. And then there's also chaplains. There are chaplains mm. in, in, mm. in universities. Yes. There's so many nowadays, the support system is there for students. Yeah. So kindly don't die in that course. Go to the chaplain, go to the mentor, go to even your church at yes. home. And the elders or your auntie, tell them, come and talk to my mom. Yeah. I'm stuck here. Mm. And this is where I am. And my parents are still paying fees. They are not paying fees for how many years? Three. Three years. Yes. That person should not be the fourth year, third year, fourth year. Yes. So says that, and um, you should, the, the, the students should not be as ashamed yes. of, re of going and de redoing, starting afresh the course that they want. It is only three years and then she'll be through with it. Absolutely. And mm. if you were listening to the conversation that we had with Judy earlier, mm. it's you're the most important person. Yes. So choose you. Mm. Because when you choose you, then mm. you'll be on the right path mm. and you might find your purpose in there. Mm. I think this next question is also tied in with um, the question that we've just tackled. Mm. Hello, uh, Mary. I did my KCSE in 2018 and I got a C plus and I'm currently enrolled in university pursuing a course that I'm really not into. I always wanted uh, to do architecture, but unfortunately, my scores weren't good enough. I feel so lost and I want to drop out. Mm -hmm. With with a C plus, are they able to do architecture? No. Ah. With this, and you know, yes, with the C plus, you cannot do architecture. Mm -hmm. But now they can also look for something else close to architecture. Mm -hmm. That student, I can also te not tell you to go back and do the Form 4 exam because mm -hmm. it is 2018. And mostly, let me tell you, that if you repeat Form 4 exams, yeah. if you get a C, the next you get is a C plus. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it doesn't hand up so much. Yes. Yes. So unless you really know that there is something which disrupted you. Yes. When you are doing your form four, that you failed. The, but if there's nothing disrupted, you everything was normal, constant, you just hand one grade or drop one. So she can look for something which she can do, is, which is not architecture. Mm. Yes. Interior design. The interior yes. design. Yeah. Yes. Something it, close. It, yes. Um, okay. Mm. Uh, good morning, Mikali and Dr. Susan. Uh, I'm Wamboy from Nairobi. So I got a D plus in 2019. Oh, I think we handled this. Mm. Um, she, uh, no. 2019 and my parents forced me to do science lab which is not my thing at all i wanted to do dj but they think that is a stupid career please help i don't think it's stupid i don't think it's stupid yeah i, I told you my my son came to me and told me oh doctor ma'am i want to be a dj and we would go to Nairobi West, seriously, and I would go and sit and listen to them mixing those songs. <laughs> I was almost also becoming a DJ in the process. But uh, so th that's not a stupid course. It's not. It's not. It's not. Please yes. pursue it. Um, Be happy in mm, the journey of life. You only mm, have one life to live. Mm. Um, hi, I'm Pauline from Gidurai. I got a C plus. My dream of becoming a neurosurgeon is lost. Is it lost? C plus neurosurgeon. It is lost. It is lost. Unless she intends to repeat, it is lost. But she okay. can do something else. She can mm -hmm. be a nurse. Okay. And then get closer to, to that. That's why I was saying that have alternative B. Yes. You are not cut to be a doctor. Mm. You are not cut to be an engineer. Mm -hmm. You can also be something else. Yes. But don't go very far from your dream, isn't it? Yeah. But there are some people, you see that I'm a doctor, but they are still a DJ. Yeah, have you seen those people? That's true. You yes. have seen people, engineers, mm. and they, but still, I'm going to the kitchen. To uh, cook, nameless, to, uh, architect. Yes, architect, yes. But he's uh, giving us uh, tunes, yes, left, right, center. Yes, it depends on the attitude of a person, Yeah, isn't it? When this door is closed, you know even the Bible says, when the one door is closed, look at the other one. It, it is open, fungu. isn't it? Mm. Window kifungu, kifungwa, mm -hmm. angalia mlango. That's true. Yes. I am Ibrahim from Bondo. Mm. I'm a Form 4 liver and I wanted to do accounting because I had passion since childhood, but business studies has failed me. I don't know what to do. I will be here to, I'll be happy to hear your recommendation. What does he have? He, Form 4 liver wanted to do accounting, but he hasn't given us a grade but he business hasn't. studies with even a D plus, mm. whatever he is, he can do di certificate, diploma. Ah, yeah. Okay. Yes, that is your. Yes, that okay. is doable. Business studies is not regulated. Ah. Okay. So you can move with the grade you have. Okay. Mm. Hi, Wikali. I'm Grace, and I got a B plus, and I wanted to do civil engineering, but my teacher tells me that there are no jobs, 
and then I think of doing med, but the clusters are high. Na uni, how do I choose a good university? Do my peers tell me usiende hi hakuna masomo huko oh first year um we know first and i'm so scared so please help uh, one one thing they know that there will be these uh, coops replacement eh, from yeah. the government yeah. they will be taking them to the universities of their choice at that this time she must have chosen the university she want to go to so they will be put at the universities of their choice. But you mm -hmm. can change. You can change. You can say that I wanted to do civil engineering, but civil engineering, I also don't think she has the, she has the grade. She, she has the grade. Mm -hmm. So she has to, to choose an alternative. No, she has the grade. She's eh? B plus. She has B plus. Yes. So she has the grade, but yes. she's saying that uh, she's being told, told that there are, there are no, no jobs. jobs. Yes. Yes. But who is telling us for engineering there are no jobs? Mm. They are there. It depends on how you also tailor your course. Because when you are there, look for other things to do. Internship, build mm. your course. You know, I keep on telling them. Every student is there doing business studies, isn't it? Yes. How will your degree be superior than the others? Mm. It won't be superior than the others if, for example, when you're sitting for that, you're in a class doing your business studies, you do other courses. Yes. Okay? You can even decide to learn French. Mm. You can decide to learn Chinese language, mm. isn't it? You can decide to do another Volunteer also. Volunteer somewhere. Well, come and work in this studio. You are gaining experience. 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 So by the time you are graduating, your degree will be superior than the others. That is so true. Yes. That mm. is so true because mm. uh, I think I got my very first assignment mm -hmm. when I was still in school. Yes. Uh, from our teachers. They're mm. just like, who would like to volunteer? Mm. You'll be sent. So when you put yourself out, because mm. you'll find it in my CV, mm. that I, I did this and did this mm. uh, when I was still a student. Mm. So take those spaces that you're in right now, Shuleni, mm. to just upgrade or have something extra yeah, for true. yourself. Yes. Mm. Hi. Hmm. Hi, Mikali. So I did my KSC, KCSC and I'm stuck choosing a career because my parents are gassing me up to do medicine, uh, pharmacy or veter veterinary science. Mm -hmm. But I want to do film and media studies. That is now where we said she, that person is a from four liver. Yes. Yes. That one now is the one to go to the church. Mm -hmm to go to the aunties mm. and to go to people even me she, they, i can she can get my number i'll oh, call the parent yes thank i'll you. talk to the parent yes because if that child wants to be a journalist and i don't know some of us parents think in journalism uh djs they mm. are inferior courses they're not they are not inferior courses mm. because most of people we are seeing doing well they are doing these courses yeah yes so maybe we can talk to that parent dad i'll okay. give you my number i'll talk to the parent Dr. Sandisana, this means a lot. Yes. This means yes. a lot, a lot, a lot. Mm, so mm. we have their number as well. Mm. So we'll connect the two of mm, you. Mm. Hi, Mukali. I'm Machwani. I got a C uh, in this year. Can I do international relations and democracy? Yes, she can. Okay. Oh, he can. Is mm -hmm. that? Uh, Machwani is Yui. Yes, international <laughs> relations, they can. Mm -hmm. Mwambia, come, come to Kemo. Okay. We have it. Mm. Okay. And mm. um, talking about, as we come to the end of this conversation, talking mm. about uh, maybe a little bit about Kemu mm. and what it offers and what makes Kemu, you know, mm. stand out mm. from the rest of the universities mm. in the scene. Uh, I'll say that uh, Kemu, we offer many variety. We have the best medical school mm -hmm. currently, private. Mm. Okay. It's in Imeru. We are treated in Imeru. Nairobi and Mombasa mm -hmm. and we do business studies we do all the science uh, courses eh? nursing medical lab etc we have business courses we have we have a course which is really being sought by many people mm -hmm. it's called healthy systems management healthy systems management. healthy systems management mm -hmm. healthy system management mm -hmm. means that we have realized there's a gap between uh, when somebody becomes a doctor, mm -hmm. you have not been taught leadership skills. Ah. And uh, immediately you go, you know theater or all that. But these doctors, they are the people who are meant to be the leaders or the, um, the bosses in the health centers. Mm -hmm. So we see so many health centers today failing. Yeah. And by the way, look at the medicine, the hospitals where we have in the counties and all that. Mm -hmm. Those health clinics, they fail.
because those doctors they are only taught to injections and those things mm -hmm. not to lead human beings ah. so and for a, a section or institution to thrive human beings must work very well that's true and a good leadership skills yes. so that is why we have all the system management okay. and i'm seeing especially when people who are nurses and the doctors they are coming to do masters in all the systems management and even the young ones the when you take all the system management you will definitely be employed in the hospitals yes yes so if you got that to see and you wanted to be a, med a medical doctor and you can't be a medical doctor then you can do all the system management then you go and lead and they organize ah, these medical uh, doctors. That's brilliant. Yes. Then came um, we are um, a Christian university. Yes. When we are educating these young ones, we also look at their all being. Like um, we are looking like, like this trimester. Our theme is well-being, mindset yes. of a human being, and especially the young. Okay. And we are looking at these mental health problems. Mm. And we are saying that, you know, these ideas pumping academics yeah. without making this person also think outside that box. All rounded. All rounded person. Yes. That's why you say our drama is too... It is very uh, vibrant. Vibrant. Yes. We do, we go places. Yes. Our basketball, it's mm. complete. We call even people to come and talk to, yeah. to us. Talk where, to them. Where, where can people apply? How can they get in, Dr. Ari? You can go to our website. Okay. And then you apply online. There's yes. application online. Mm -hmm. you, if you're in Nairobi, come to Nairobi campus. Mm -hmm. Just uh, opposite uh, Nairobi University. Mm -hmm. There is that Nairobi campus. Then we have Mero. When you're in Mero, that's a beautiful university. It in is. Mero, you, you'll be there. Yes. The <laughs> university near the lake. Yes. It's beautiful. You can go there and apply. Mubasa. Mm. We are, you can do it in Akuru. You can also call me. Okay. I can send Please you give your us application. Number. Yes. My number is 0721-360-321. Say that again. 0721-360-321. Okay. Susan Laimaru. Don't even call me a doctor. Oh. Uh, Asante sana. Uh, Daktari. <laughs> thank you. But thank you so much, Susan, for coming through and for encouraging. And it, it's been beautiful. Thank you. It was you. a beautiful session. Asante sana. Asante. We're taking a very short commercial break. We will be right back. This is Full Circle with Mikali.